All right, for today's video review, we're gonna be taking a look at another Real Gear robot from Transformers. And this time around, we are taking a look at Speed Dial 800. And uh, yeah, he's uh, he turns into a little cell phone here. Real Gear Robots, if you're unfamiliar, was a little subline in the uh, 2007 movie Toy Line that uh, basically turned into little role play objects. And in the case of uh, Speed Dial 800 here, he turns into a little flip phone, little flip cell phone that can actually flip open. It has uh, numbers and everything like that. And uh, yeah, this is a, a really cool little cell phone mode. Obviously it is uh, probably looks a little bit alien to, uh, to anyone too much younger than me <laughs> in terms of uh, of how phones used to uh, to look. But uh, yeah, no, I've definitely had some phones that look like this. It's maybe a little bit chunkier than, than some of my previous uh, flip phones, but you know, I think it works pretty well. It has the little uh, icon in the top there, little Autobot logo, and it's 747. Uh, I I don't know if that's a reference to something. Usually when they have little things like that, it's usually a reference to something. I don't know what 747 would be a reference to, um, but I can open up and it's got the nice little uh, lock screen there with the uh, the battery over here, the Wi-Fi signal, little notification bell. Uh, again, 7.47 p.m. Menu, phone, select, has all the little keys down here. Do you remember this? You remember when you had to text by pressing the same number multiple times <laughs> to get which uh, which uh, letter you wanted? Gosh, I, can't, I used to be really good at that, just kind of like, doo -doo 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 -doo, but it, no longer. Uh, it's, I can't, it's just weird to think about now in terms of like, you know, uh, <laughs> being able to do that now, whereas, you know, everything now is just you get a full keyboard on a, on a touch screen and stuff like that. But yeah, lots of nice detail here. Definitely feels pretty accurate to how it was. He's got a little uh, button over here and a little, I assume, volume of some sort. Uh, he's got a little camera on the back there, which is uh, pretty cool, done in clear plastic. Pretty average, unassuming kind of back here. But yeah, it's a pretty good little mode. He's got a little loop on the top here. You remember when flip phones used to have a little keychain loop? I guess companies assumed you're going to put them on your keychains. This is weird. But uh, yeah, no, pretty good little, uh, pretty good little mode here. Uh, in terms of size comparisons, here, we'll open it up here because I feel like that's really more, more the look. Uh, here he is with uh, Spy Shot 6, the one that we took out, took a look at last time. And definitely, I feel like he's a lot closer to the actual size of the object he's supposed to be, whereas Spy Shot 6 always felt a little bit too small. But yeah, that's what they look like together. And then for the closest bot bot comparison, Comparison here he is with uh, with this kind of old timey handheld phone bot top, bot bot who is uh, referencing something a little bit older than this guy but still I think they look kind of fun together but uh, yeah you know pretty good hand size he doesn't you know uh, Spy Shot Six had the fun kind of clicky shutter button he doesn't have any actual press it pressable buttons or anything like that it's all just molded in place I guess his one feature is really just the being able to open and close the phone here. And it also has this weird sort of like swivel just because of transformation. But either way, I, I think it's a, a pretty good little cell phone mode. But yeah, in terms of a transformation, you just wanna open this up and rotate it around like this. Uh, you wanna take these sections here and uh, rotate them down. These will be his legs and you rotate them forward. And then he's got uh, two little hook things here that you flip out as his feet. You can get your fingernail in here and kind of flip it out that way. Usually I find it's easiest to just kind of like push it from the top here to get it started. Uh, and then with the, uh, the little panels here with the buttons on them, is pull those out to the side and they have, they're on kind of like a, a hinge and a ball joint section here and rotates out the arms. You can rotate that down and then rotate it forward. And then uh, you'd want to take the whole the whole kind of top section of the phone and it just kind of folds onto his back as like a big shell. And then these two little sections right here, right underneath the camera, you open up and they reveal uh, the rest of his face there, which means that the camera lens is kind of his eye. And uh, yeah, there you have Speed Dial 800 in his robot mode. And yeah, he looks pretty cool. I don't like him quite as much as, uh, as Spy Shot, but you know, he's got some fun aesthetics going on here. I like that he's got the, the buttons as part of his look here. If you didn't like those, you could if you wanted to like rotate it the other way. Everything is pretty much symmetrical, so it all works. I think that's less interesting, but you know, to each his own. Uh, it's definitely an option there. Um, in terms of articulation, you're seeing some of it here. Uh, for the head, uh, the head is mostly static in place unless you fold this section up, which gives you the clearance to give him that head swivel. But like, 
you know, then he's got this big shell kind of hanging out, which he can mostly handle. Like he, he doesn't fall over with it. Um, even when it's kind of facing back and get him to, to balance. Well, when it's facing back, you could just have it, you know, folded onto his back. So, you know, that works relatively well. His uh, shoulders here are on ball joints. So they can rotate out to the side. Uh, he's got a ball joint at the elbow as well. So it kind of gives him a, a thigh, or not thigh, a uh, bicep swivel as well. And then the uh, the little hinge hand just for transformation can kind of hinge up and down like that. Uh, for the hips, they can go forward, back until they bump into the big, you know, shell on the back, uh, out to the side. He's got a thigh swivel. His knee is super high. It's like <laughs> here. And then the, the whole leg is here. So hey, not great, you know, you want the knee to be kind of down there, but not so not great proportions, but it eh, works. Uh, and then he's got the little uh, hinges for his toes there. So not crazy posable, but, you know, he's kind of a, a fun, simple little guy uh, in terms of size comparisons. Just for the standard one, here he is with uh, with Kingdom Side Swipe, just so you can see what he looks like with an average size modern deluxe. You know, a little shorter. Like I said last time, they're kind of in between Scout Class and Deluxe figures for the time. Uh, here he is again with Spy Shot 6, Is he, just so you can see what the two of them look like together. And then here he is again with a little portable phone, Bot Bot, whose name I can't for the life of me remember. But, you know, they look cool together, even though they turn into uh, different types of phones. But yeah, you know, not much else there is to him. Not much else there is to him. What kind of sentence structure is that? There is not much else to him. He's a, he's a fun little figure. He makes for a nice little kind of role play cell phone mode, which I, is much more like in line with an actual size flip phone from the time than like some of the other ones are. So yeah, I think he's got that kind of in his favor. Um, but you know, that kind of the caveat to that, well, not really a caveat, but the downside is that he doesn't, he's not really as an, as exciting a robot as most of the other ones, but he's still kind of cool. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to him. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, here we have Transformers 2007 Real Gear Robots Speed Dial 800.